Hello fellow crocheters, my name is Anne and welcome back to my channel. I'll be making a small in this video, but you can find sizes from X small to X large instructions in the written pattern over at my Etsy shop. I will link my shop in this pattern in the description box below as well as timestamps to help you follow along. Here are the supplies you'll be needing. So to begin this pattern, I have my category 4 yarn, and I'm using my 5mm hook. I'm just going to go ahead and make a slip knot, and you can do this any way you would like, just like that. And we're going to be beginning on the bottom border to our pattern first. So to get started on that, we're going to start making a, a chain of 71. So to make a chain, just want to yarn over pull through and that's one chain and then just keep on yarning over and pulling through until you have a total of 71 chains Alrighty guys, so I just finished up working my chain of 71 as you can see here. And then now we're going to start on a row of half double crochets. So to work these half double crochets, beginning to the second chain from our hook, we're going to yarn over, insert your hook into that second chain, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through three. Again, yarn over, insert your hook into that next chain, pull through, and then pull through three. And you just want to work half double crochets into each chain going all the way across your row, just like this. So I'm going to work these half double crochets into each stitch all the way across. You should have a total of 70 stitches by the end, and then I will meet you back once I am done with this row. Alrighty guys, so I just finished working those half double crochets into each chain coming all the way across my row as you can see here. And now that I have made it to the end, to begin each row you just want to do a chain of one and then just turn your work. And that chain one does not count as a stitch. So now beginning into this first stitch, we're going to do something a little bit different. We're going to be working a front post half double crochet. So to do that, I'm just going to yarn over, insert my hook into the front post, yarn over, pull through, and then yarn over, pull through three. And then into the next stitch, we're going to work a back post half double crochet. To do that, just yarn over, insert your hook into that back post this time, pull through, and then pull through three just like this. It looks a little messy right now, but once we go all the way across our row, it'll look a little better. So now you just want to alternate those front and back post half double crochets working all the way across your row. So into the next stitch, I'm going to work a front post half double, just like that. And then of course into the next stitch, I'm going to work a back post half double, and then just keep on alternating these front post and back post half double crochets just like this into each stitch. So 
I'm going to finish up this row really quickly, then I will meet you back once I have reached the end over here. Alrighty guys, so I am back here. I just finished up working row two, alternating those front and back post half double crochets, as you can see. And then once you have reached the end here, as always, you just want to chain one and then turn your work, remembering that this chain one does not count as a stitch. So to just finish up our border and just to continue our pattern, you want to repeat this row we just completed with those back and front post half double crochets. You're going to repeat that row until you have a total of seven rows for your work. So just to get you started on row three, beginning into this first stitch, just like last time, you wanna work a front post half double just like that and then again alternating those back posts so doing a back post right here and then once again another front post just like that and again you just want to you just want to repeat this row until you have a total of seven rows just to finish up our border so I'm going to go off camera, finish those seven rows, and then I will meet you back when I am all done. Alrighty guys, so I am back here with my border. I now have seven rows in total. And once we have finished all this up, we can now begin on our back panel. So let's get started on that. So to get started on our back panel, we're just going to go directly from our bottom border. So to get started, you just want to make a chain of 79 to begin with. Just like this. Alrighty guys, so I am back here. I just finished up working my chain of 79, as you can see over here. And then now, starting to the second, second chain from our hook, we're just going to work half double crochets into each chain all the way along our row. So just once again, I'm over here, beginning to the second chain. I'm just going to yarn over, insert my hook. And then again, just working these regular half double crochets into each chain all the way across. And by the end of this row, you should have 78 stitches in total. Alrighty guys, so I am back here. As you can see, I just worked all the way down my row with those half double crochets. And once that is all complete, we're now going to connect this to our bottom border. So what we're going to do is that we're going to slip stitch up three stitches on our bottom border. So just beginning into that very first stitch, I'm going to do a slip stitch, pull straight through. That's one. Here's two, and then here's my last one, three. So that it just kind of connects like that. So now we're going to turn our work around. And then now to start row two, we're going to begin this row starting into the fourth stitch. And this row is going to be a little bit different. Instead of working regular half double crochets, we're going to work back loop or back bar half double crochets. 
So to do this, we're going to yarn over, we're going to skip four stitches, so one, two, three, and then here's the fourth one. We're going to skip three stitches and then insert your hook into the fourth one. And then as you can see, I've just inserted into this back loop only, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through three. And then you just want to work these back loop half double crochets into each stitch all the way down our row. So just only inserting into this back loop just like this. And again, you should have a total of 78 stitches by the end of this row. Alrighty guys, so I am back here. I just finished up working these back bar, our back loop half double crochet rows coming all the way down. And once you have it reached the end here, we're not going to do anything fancy. We're just going to chain one and then just turn our work. And now just beginning the next row, which is row three. So just beginning into this first stitch, we're just going to work regular half double crochets all the way down our row into each stitch. Just like this, really easy. But I'm just going to work these half double crochets all the way down and then I will meet you back when I am all done. Alrighty guys, so I am back here. I just worked those half double crochets into each stitch coming all the way back down my work. And again, we have to connect this row to our border and we're going to do that in the same way as we did last time. You just want to slip stitch up three stitches. So it's this slip stitching in this first stitch. One, two, and then three, just like that and then turning your work. So now to continue this pattern, we're just going to repeat those last two rows that we did, aka that would be row two and row three, the row we just did. And you just want to continue doing that until you have worked all the way down your border. But I'm going to do a few more rows with you guys. So just to continue our pattern, Starting into the fourth stitch or skipping three stitches over here, we're now going to work back loop half double crochets into each stitch all the way down our work, just like that. Again, just starting into that fourth stitch and then just working back loop half double crochets all the way down here once again. Alrighty guys, so I am back here again. I just finished up working those back loop half double crochets. And then just like last time, to begin the next row, you just want to chain one, turn your work, beginning into this first stitch, work, just work all the way back down your work, doing regular half double crochets as you can see here. Alrighty guys, so I have just worked all the way back down my row working those regular half double crochets and then once again, once once you have reached the border here, we have to connect this row. So we're just going to slip stitch up three. That's one, 
two and then three and then just turn our work around so just to remind you guys one more time you want to repeat alternating those last two rows or row two and row three until you have worked all the way along your bottom border so if you can see here we've already done a few rows and worked maybe an inch and a half up our row and we just want to continue doing this process going all the way down here so I'm going to work that up off camera and then I will meet you back once I have finished all of that up. Alrighty guys, so I am back here with my back panel as you can see. I have just went all the way along the border here and now once I got to the end all I did was just cut and tie off. And then once you have finished one of the back panels, you now want to repeat this exact process one more time for our front panel because both our front and back panels are the same. So over here, I have already completed my other panel, as you can see, so now we just have two. And now once you have this, we're going to begin on the seaming. So to begin on the seaming, you'd want to make sure that both good sides are facing each other. So this is, this is the side that I have my ribboning on. So I'm just going to turn this side right over so that the both of the good sides are facing each other, as you can see. Just line up all the corners. And then now to seam this, what we're going to do is that you're going to insert your hook right into the bottom corner here, and you're going to seam all the way up your panels using slip stitches or single crochets. It doesn't really matter, but just but just single crocheting all the way up your border here until you have left a six inch gap for your sleeve. So just keep on going up here until you have left a six inch gap over here. Then of course you want to repeat that same process on the other side as well, just seaming up the side again leaving a six inch gap. So I'm going to do that really quickly and then I will meet you back when I'm all done. Okay guys, so I am back here. I just finished up seaming all the way up my work. Once again, I just left a six inch part on both sides, as you can see over here, and this will be creating the armholes. But before we start on the sleeves, we just have one more thing to, sl one more thing to seam. What we're gonna do is that starting in this corner right here, we're gonna seam five inches this way and then doing that on the other side, just lining up these corners and just seaming five inches this way too. And this will just create the neck hole where our neck is gonna go. So I'm just gonna seam five inches up this way really quickly, then I will meet you back very shortly. Alrighty guys, so I am back here again. I just finished up seaming this all up. Again, just going five inches this way and this way to create this neck hole. So now we have two arm holes and then one neck hole and this is how our project is looking so far and it's looking really good. So once we're all done with that, we're now just going to begin on doing the turtleneck up here. So to get started on this turtleneck, all I have here is my hook, as you can see, and this is our neck hole right over here. All I'm going to do is just insert my hook anywhere on the edge, it doesn't matter where, just anywhere, just like that. So now we're going to work a foundation row of single crochets coming all the way around here. So to do that, you just want to chain one, and then beginning into this first stitch, we're just going to work single crochets into each stitch all the way around. You just want to treat each row as if it were one stitch, as you can see what I'm doing here. Just like that, just working one single crochet for each row. Alrighty guys, so I am back here. As you can see, I have just worked all the way around my row here, 
just like that with those single crochets. And then now just to join, all I'm going to do is just slip stitch into the very first stitch, just like that. Now to actually start on our turtleneck portion, we're just going to go ahead and make a chain of 30. So I am back here with my chain of 30, as you can see. And now this part is just really simple. Starting into the second chain from our hook, we're going to work slip stitches into each chain. So to do that, again, just starting into the second chain, inserting my hook, and then just pulling straight through. And that's one slip stitch. And as I mentioned, just working, just work these slip stitches all the way down your chain. You should have a total of 29 slip stitches by the end of this row. Alrighty guys, so I just worked those slip stitches coming all the way down my row as you can see and, we're, and now we're going to do something very similar to what we've already done. We need to connect this row to our collar here. So to do that, we're going to slip stitch up one on the side. So just slip stitching up one here just like that and then now we can just turn our work all the way around. So after you have turned your work just like this, beginning into the second stitch, we're going to work back loop slip stitches. So this time we're only working in the back loop of our work, just like this. And again, as always, I'm just going to work all the way down my row and then I'll meet you back when I'm done. Alrighty guys, so I just made it all the way back up my row doing those back loop slip stitches this time. And once you have made it to the end here, you're going to do nothing fancy. You're just going to chain one and then just turn your work. And we're going to be working back loop slip stitches for every row now. So this is really easy, just beginning into this first stitch. We're just going to work all the way back down our row, working these back loop slip stitches, as you can see here. Just like this. And then now, as you can see here, I worked all the way back down with those back loop slip stitches. And we're just going to connect this row just as we did last time. We're just going to slip stitch up one on the side just to connect it. And then just turn our work for the next row. So to continue this pattern coming all the way along here, you just want to repeat those last two rows that we did. But I'm just going to do a few more with you guys. So just starting right here, I just turned my work. Just as the last row we just did, we are going to begin this next row starting from the second stitch from our hook. And we are just going to work back loop slip stitches all the way back down our row here. And then after you have come all the way back up with those back loop slip stitches, just chain one and then turn your work. And then beginning into this very first stitch, we're just going to work back loop slip stitches into each stitch all the way across. And 
And then once you've made it back here to the end, I'm going to show you guys how to connect this one more time. All you want to do is just slip stitch up, a, a slip stitch up one on the side, and then turn your work, making sure to start your next row into that second stitch just like this. And again, I'm just going to alternate those last two rows that we did coming all the way around here. And then I will meet you back to seam it all up. Alrighty guys, so I am back here. I've just finished working these back loop slip stitches, alternating those two rows to our pattern. And once you have finished that, we need to seam up these two edges here. And to seam this up, all you want to do is just slip stitch or single crochet all the way up the edge here, making sure that you're doing it on the outside and not like flipping your work inside out. The reason why is because we want the seam, once we fold this down, the seam is going to go the other way. So I'm just going to quickly seam this up as you normally would from the front and then I will meet you back when I'm done. So guys, I am back here with my seaming as you can see. And then once you have finished that up, all you can do is just flip it over just like this. And that is our finished turtleneck. So once you are done with our turtleneck here, we're now going to get started on our sleeves. So to get started on our sleeve here, I have my hook. And I'm just going to insert my hook into the seam of our work. Just slip stitching to secure, just like that. And now I'm just going to chain one. So beginning into this first stitch, we're going to work a foundation row of single crochets. We're going to work one single crochet into each stitch all the way around. The only thing with this is that you want to make sure your the amount of the amount of total stitches you have is a multiple of three. So just to work these single crochets as always. Just starting into this first stitch, I'm just going to work one single crochet just like this. So guys, I just finished working all the way around my row here, making sure the amount of stitches is a multiple of three. Now as always, just to join this row, I'm going to slip stitch into the first stitch, just like that. And then now we're going to make a chain of 70. So just yarning over and pulling through. Make a chain of 70. And then once you have finished that chain of 70, starting into the second chain from your hook, we're going to work half double crochets into each chain all the way down, which you should have a total of 69 stitches by the end of this row. So guys, I just finished working all the way down my row with those half double crochets, as you can see. And this is pretty much the same thing as we did for our front panel. Once you make it to the end here, all you want to do is slip stitch up three to join. That's one, two, and then here is three. Just like that. And then now we're going to turn our work. 
and then beginning from the fourth stitch from our hook we're going to work back loop half double crochets just beginning into this fourth stitch I'm just going to work half back back loop or back bar half double crochets all the way down my row So I've just made it all the way down my row with those back loop half double crochets. And once you make it to the end on this side, I'm just going to chain one, turn our work. Then beginning into this first stitch, we're just going to work half double crochets all the way down our row, just like this. So I just finished working all the way down my row and we're going to do the same thing as last time to join our row here. We're just going to slip stitch up three on the side, that's one, two, and then three. And then just turn our work and then just beginning into the fourth stitch, we're going to work back loop or back bar half double crochets, just like this. So to continue this pattern all the way around our row here, we're going to alternate those two rows, those back loop and those regular half double crochet rows, working into each stitch all the way around our armhole. So I'm going to go off camera, do that really quickly, then I will meet you back when I'm all finished. Okay guys, so I am back here with my sleeve as you can see with these back loop and regular half double crochets. So once you have made it to the end of this working all the way across your armhole, we now of course have to seam this up which is really easy. All I'm going to do is just turn this sleeve inside out, just turning my project inside out and then I will just seam up the sleeve using slip stitches or single crochets coming all the way down here. So I'm just going to seam this as you normally would really quickly that I will meet you back when I'm all done. Alrighty guys, so I just finished up seaming of my sleeve and then I just of course turned all of my work inside out and then once you have finished this section we can now begin on the cuff. So to begin on the cuff, I have over here my hook, and I'm just going to slip stitch to secure. Just like that, chain one, and you have probably guessed it, we're going to work a foundation row coming all the way around here. Just treating each row as if it were one stitch, we're just going to work single crochets all the way around. And I'm back here. I just worked single crochets coming all the way around for our foundation row. And then as usual, all I'm going to do is just slip stitch into the first stitch to join this row. And then after you have finished that foundation row, we're now going to make a chain of 16. And then once you have finished this chain of 16, beginning into the second chain from our hook, 
we're just going to work slip stitches into each chain all the way down. So I just finished that row of a slip stitches and then now to connect this to our side here we're just going to slip stitch up two on the side that's one and then two and then we're just going to turn our work. So then now beginning into the third stitch from our hook we're going to work back loop slip stitches into each stitch all the way down and you should have a total of 15 stitches by the end here. And then once you have made it to the end of that row of those back loop slip stitches, all I'm going to do is just chain one, turn my work, and then beginning into this first stitch, working all the way down my row with these back loop slip stitches just like this. And then once you have made it to the end of that row, just as last time to connect this row, you want to slip stitch up two, that's one, here is two, turn your work all the way around, and then you have probably guessed it, you just want to repeat those last two rows, just working this into every single stitch all the way around our cuff here. So I'm just going to work these back loop slip stitches off camera and then I will just meet you back with my finished cuff. Alrighty guys, so I am back here with these rows of back loop slip stitches as you can see and this is what my cuff is looking like right now. So now of course we just have to seam this together which you can do two ways. You can either turn your entire project inside out and then seam down the sides here using of course slip stitches or single crochets or you can just flip over your work like this and then seam up your project like that. Either way just seam up your cuff and then I will meet you back once I have just finished this up really quickly. Okay guys, so I just finished up seaming my cuff as you can see here. So now that completes our sleeve. After you have done this, you will of course need to repeat the same process on this side. But once you have completed both sleeves over here, you're pretty much all done with your project. The only thing left you would need to do is just tie in all of your ends. If you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful, please consider liking this video and subscribing to my channel. If you bought this pattern, it would be very helpful if you left a positive review for my Etsy shop. Thank you guys so much for watching.